Welcome to the next instalment of my 30 Beers for 30 Year series. We are looking at Quack, which is an 8% Belgian Amber Ale. And I have a lot of history with this beer. I would say this beer was the catalyst for getting me into, into beer in general. So the story goes, I, I frequented a Belgian beer bar, saw all of the myriad of glasses and bottles and everything like that in front of me. And then I saw somebody walk past with one of these, filled with delicious brown elixir. And when I saw that, I was like, what the fuck is that? What's inside it? And so I asked one of those. And then when they said it was like 8.4%, I was like, beer is that strong? Because I really didn't know too much about beer other than sort of just standard British stuff at that point. So this was a major catalyst. So this this predates my love of craft beer and all that by, by an, a, a good couple of years easily. And I know it's not the best beer in the world. I know it's not the most exciting beer, but it sparked within me something that I still have to this day, which is, is I get excited by beer. It, it's something that I love and I want to keep exploring and yeah, simple as that. So that's why it is in my 30 beers for 30 years box. Anyway, enough waffle. And I can't believe I uh, haven't reviewed it on the channel before. I, I can't believe it. There is, I did shoot a review once with Craig and Harry when we were in Leeds once. But that review will probably never see the light of day because it was bad. It was, we were very drunk. And it, and it really, we didn't really say too much about the beer. Let's get this into a glass. As you can see, I do have the official glass. One of my few sort of, well, actually, my only official sort of like Belgian glassware. Uh, the reason for the for the shape, as the story goes, is it was a beer made for, for carriage drivers. Uh, as you can see on this little quack beer mat that I have, which is also a postcard, doubles as a postcard. So it sort of was, you could imagine this sort of being attached to the carriage and then you can take that bit out and glug 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 there you go classic classic i haven't poured a quack in a, in a, in a little while yeah sorry if you can hear some noises in the background my dishwasher is on so there we go professional professional as always let's stick that little sucker there it is a dark amber colored beer slightly off-white beige looking head it looks very quack like and do you know what i've never even i don't even know if I, i'm saying that right or if there's a better pronunciation or it's pronounced differently but i say quack it's just fun Oh, I did forget one thing. It has got quite a good spiel on the back, which is I find found quite amusing. So an original bright amber beer with a dense and creamy head. It's a top fermented beer, a nice explosion in mouth of biscuit. And yes, I read that right. Banana, hints of orange marmalade, notes of caramel and spices to finish on a delicate bitterness. So let's get our nose in. And I mean, the head, the head is thick on that. Let's, um, on a... Let's give this a, see if we can give this a slightly better pour here. Oh yeah, there's a lot more pungent now. Yeah, so it's foam banana sweet. It's a slight sort of gingery, peppery vibe to it. it. Does have a little bit of a ginger beer thing going on with it. I don't think it's not smelling as as jammy as as marmalade like it says on the back. It, it is more piff, orange piff. It does it does sort of it does sort of sting the nostrils. You can tell it's got that little bit of ABV about it. That smells pretty damn good. Let's go for a taste. Cheers. It used to take me a while because you, you see, I was holding it like that, and then I I receded because it, it, it it's just something I just don't trust this glass, but I, I know it does. Look, hmm, there was a bit of slippage there. Fuck it, I'm holding it. <laughs> there is a there is a bit of bitterness to it. It does have a spicy tingle and a little bit of heat from the alcohol. There's a sharp orange character to it, a sticky sweetness to it. On the back itself, did it say toffee or caramel? But I don't think it's as like dark as that. For me, it's it's more like remind me a bit of sort of like golden syrup or like flapjacks or something like that. I don't, again, I don't know if it's my palate changing. I'm used to sort of stronger beers nowadays. I used to remember this being sort of quite harsh, but I'm actually it's actually going down quite smooth, and I'm and I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot better than I remember it being, because like I say, it wasn't the it, the for me this beer was about the experience of drinking it, where I was drinking it in this glass and all that rather than the actual beer itself but the taste wise has actually surprised me quite a bit yeah you're picking up those sort of like traditional sort of banana esters as well yeah that's, that one's really surprised me pretty pretty good ah that's supposed to be a quack so if you miss any of my 30 beers for 30 years series please take a look at the playlist below 
But that was everything from Quack. I've been Jake. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.